Thanks for joining us on the Houston Hispanic Chamber of Commerce program here on Q57. Very excited to have our guest, Samuel Peña, Fire Chief of the Houston area and also a great friend of the Houston Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. So before we went to break, we were talking about you sitting in your office and you got that call. And I always like to tell people, especially mm -hmm. young people, take care of the job you have and the next one will find you. Right. And that sounds like exactly what happened in your case. That is exactly uh, what happened in my <laughs> case. You know, I was, uh, like I mentioned, you know, I had been, uh, uh, grew up in the fire department in El yes, Paso. Yes. Um, and uh, then this opportunity came up. The headhunter uh, called. He says, hey, we're, you know, we're casting a wide net. Yeah. We want to know if you want to put your name in the head. Are you interested? Yeah, and, and I thought, you know, it's always good to gauge yourself, especially when you feel that, uh, that you're, careers plateauing yes. um, you know that's we got to be cautious uh, about that because you can't just maintain right if you're maintaining that sometimes yeah. you're regressing you're moving backwards so it's always better to, to, to challenge keep, yourself, to challenge yourself and, and yeah. to see you know yeah. are my ideas mainstream ideas or specific you know, to El Paso specific to will El I be able to, exactly. to, to transition are they transferable or are they am and I then moving your family to a big city like Houston when El Paso was your home that is that was the biggest decision because yeah. you know we are a traditional Hispanic family yes. very close-knit sure. uh, my mom my dad my grandson, uh, my brothers and, and sisters, and, and uh, you know my sons are in El Paso. So that was the most difficult decision when when um, oh. when I got the offer uh, was to do I take it or do I not? But like I said, you know I um, we um, I thought why not? Why not? This opportunity presented itself for a reason. And it's um, a once in a lifetime. Situation. It is once in a lifetime situation. The issues that, that I had uh, dealt with in El Paso were similar to the issues that, that uh, were facing the Houston Fire Department. And yes. I said, I can, I believe I have something to offer the city of Houston and the mm -hmm. Houston Fire Department to, to increase and, and better that department. And, and so that's why I took this opportunity. Yeah. And, uh, and you know, it's, it's, it's worked out really well. Okay. I think, um, you know, my, um, my parents were a big influence in my, in my ability to, uh, or my focus on, on preparing. Yeah. You know, to take up, uh, you know, advantage of certain yeah. opportunities that yes. to, that uh, present themselves, and that's what I'm trying to to do for this organization. You know, as a fire chief, um, it's my job to prepare the pipeline mm -hmm. for people to to take uh, advantage of the positions. You know, because I'm I'm a temporary steward of this position, mm -hmm. but it's on me to ensure that there are qualified people and people are able to take advantage of the opportunity when it presents itself. Yeah. And that's one of my focuses, professional development. Yes. You know, aside from the fleet and the facilities and the, and right. the health and safety aspects. To take aspects, care of the people, make sure there's someone to fill these roles. Exactly. What are some of the key characteristics <clears throat> you think are needed to be in a leadership role mm -hmm. within the fire department? Well, you certainly need to have uh, perseverance, yeah. right? Um, because there are a lot of challenges, internal and external challenges that are working against you. You have to have some tenacity. Mm -hmm. Right, and and stay focused on the end goal, on the on the mission, mm -hmm. because um, certainly you know it's it's government, it's city government. So the wheels turn very slowly, yes. and it's it's a lot different. When I first got appointed to fire chief, the the approach was a lot different from when I was in the field in the in the fire department, because firefighters are are programmed to arrive at a, an emergency scene, assess the situation. Yes come up with a plan, and go in there, execute. execute, take care of the issue, and then Get reset, out. right? Yes, and do it again. Exactly, so they can immediately see the fruits of their efforts yes. and their labor, um, you know, and the successes. Yes. When you become part of the administration, we become the fire chief, you know, those successes <laughs> are take a little bit longer. Yeah, so right? there's a short-term <laughs> game and a long-term. Exactly. And different skill sets. And different skill sets. Yes. Um, both communicating up the organization and down the organization yes. because your firefighters expect you to deliver on right, the things yeah. that they need. Yes. Right. And and so you have to communicate with them as far as what you're doing, how what your uh, process mm -hmm. is to get them yeah. the things they need. And that is different from what you <coughs> do internally. Exactly. It has to be handled very different exactly. externally because Sometimes. you have council members and others that are going to weigh in right. on budgets and decisions, and it's not a unilateral anything. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Sometimes the the uh, the projects that you start one one year 
yeah. won't come to fruition for two, three Couple years. years. Yes, yeah. and and that's difficult, uh, you know, to communicate and keep people sure. engaged and informed. But that's part of the uh, that's part of the fun of this position, sure. right? Is is uh, the interactions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you talked about the role of your parents and mm -hmm. the influence they had. <clears throat> what did your parents do, or what do they do currently? So you know, I'm a I'm a one of four siblings. Okay. Um, what order? From I'm number one. Ah, I'm the okay. first. I'm the ah. yes, the first of, of four. And uh, actually, there was five uh, children in my family when I was I was growing up because my cousin, uh, she moved in with us, okay. and she was like my Our sister. Grandma. Exactly. Was her name Nachita? No, no, Nachita. What was her name? No, Nachita was my cousin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But Christy was uh, was Christy. my cousin. Christy, so yes. she moved in with you. She all. moved in with us, oh, and how nice. she grew up with our with oh. our family. So I'm a uh, the first of four of, of two immigrant parents, okay. you know, who uh, who came to the U.S. in in 1968, mm -hmm. and uh, settled in Los, East Los Angeles. And why did they go to El Paso? What was it about El Paso? So, um, you know, my mom, in, in speaking to my mom, her her thing was, you know, L.A. was really big and busy, and and yeah. she. Her focus was always to keep our the kids out of trouble. Yeah, you know, and and uh, they had family in Juarez, Mexico, okay. right across the border from El Paso. Mm -hmm. So they decided to to move mm -hmm. to El Paso when I was six. Mm -hmm. And uh, my dad was a uh, auto mechanic, mm -hmm. and my mom was a uh, you know she would clean houses and she would you know she mm -hmm. would mostly stay home and, yeah. and raise the kids and that was her job. And yeah. but she would take odd jobs and and uh, and that's how they raised us. You know, yeah. um, my mom speaks about uh, being houseless for a little bit. Not homeless because she says it's the family that makes a home, right? Yeah. Um, but I don't remember that, you know. Wow. And I don't remember the um, the, the you the know struggles the str or I don't. Yeah, you were just a family, it and, is. and it they was. fed you and probably got you whatever you needed That's to right. get you where you are today. And my mom was was strong. I feared my mom more than my dad. Oh. <laughs> Your parents, I'm sure, are very proud. We're very mm -hmm. proud of you, and especially knowing that you came from very humble beginnings right. and have worked hard. And so we want to thank our fire chief for joining mm -hmm. us today. And also just to remind you to follow your dreams, work hard, and congratulations right. to your parents that they thank set you. such a great example and that they've lived to see their son become fire well, chief that means of the a lot, fourth Dr. largest city in America. Congratulations. Proud to be here and proud of the work you're doing as well. Thank you so thank much. You.